Okay, we're back. This is Razor Flame Kun again, and we are going to continue where we left off, which is we were about to go exploring. Since I don't have enough copper bars to make a copper sword yet, we're going to go exploring, and hopefully we will find some more ores on the surface. However, before we go exploring, there's a few things you want to bring along. If you have any mushrooms, and this only applies for the first time you go exploring, which is basically when, right now, when you're trying to find ores in caverns, what you want to bring is you want to bring some mushrooms for health restoration. Any lesser healing potions you might have gotten from the clay pots and caves. Uh, a few dirt blocks so you can get up uh, high pl to high places. And torches. Uh, any amount works. So that's pretty much what you need to begin exploring. Although you can go exploring at any time uh, without any of the items that I listed above. Because they're only optional and they only help to ensure your safety like they make you uh better 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 suited to survive longer uh when you go exploring you there are a few things you want to keep an eye out for the first thing are, is caverns like this if you haven't gone exploring in a cavern just put a little torch down in the middle of where you're going and in the entrance to the cavern and then continue on I as you noticed I placed some dirt blocks on so I can make this jump up here and but before we do that I'm gonna go ahead and, ex and explore this cave a little bit to see if any ores are in here and I, again I'm gonna place torches down as I go down so that I could find a find my way back B light up the place and C so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, as you noticed, I'm destroying the vines, which you want to do because they block your line of sight and they reduce the light level of the of the place by quite a lot. So far, I haven't found anything really that useful for me. And when you're in caves like this, place. Remember to place torches on the sides of walls so that you can see. For uh, so that you can see further. And in, into the walls because the walls can actually hide some pretty neat, nifty stuff if you for the uh, unaware. So we're gonna so I'm gonna exit the cave and then we're gonna go back up here because I came on here earlier with a different character and I noticed something up here that would be, that is something that is very rare to find on the surface and that would be gold and i'll show you what gold looks like once i get up on top of this mountain and it also looks like there's a little copper underneath this underneath this stone so i'm going to go i'm going to place the torch down and then go ahead and mine this stone and oh my god is that gold That's gold. As I said before, it is very rare to find gold this close to the surface. And especially in such a large vein. Anyways, this is what gold looks like. And as you can see, gold is the, is the ore that comes after silver. And I'll explain more when we start finding more gold which won't be for a while anyways to get out i'm gonna mine this stone the stone straight above me and then i'm going to go ahead and place the dirt block right there so i can jump back up anyways over here was the gold that i was talking about right here it's right on the surface and it's again I, as i said before it's very rare to find gold on the surface there was a total of five blocks of gold on the surface here and then we came to this area, uh, which has some water. And when you first get into water, you'll notice that 
there's breath that slowly counts down. If you lose all of your bubbles, you'll start losing health to the tune of two health every half second or so, which will kill you very quickly. Another thing you might you might want to notice is that in these overhangs like this, you might find cobwebs, which is useful later on for making necro armor, which requires another item that you don't find until you get into dungeons much later on. Down here, it doesn't look like there's anything down there, so I'm going to avoid it altogether and then jump onto this little island and jump over here. Because, remember, we're looking for copper and iron. Any copper or iron that might be on the surface. And it doesn't look, look like there's much more. As you can see, this, the sky is starting to turn this yellowish color which is a sign that you need to turn the other way because voila you're now in corruption which you can't you don't want to be at this point in the game because the monsters there will kill you very fast so if you hit corruption go the other way and then i just want to make sure that this guy is is Okay, I just because the eater, as I said before, the eater of souls is a very high le is a high level monster. So I killed it. And when you hit corruption, you want to turn the other way. Right now, at this point in the game, because you cannot, you should not be in there. Of course, you can go in there, but it's kind of pointless because you aren't going to be able to do much without a grappling hook because of the chasms that you find in there, and. And, and because of the high level, the high, the monsters in there that do high amounts of damage. As you can see, in order to get back, I had to make a dirt staircase, and these become much more prevalent later on in the game. Now here, I thought I saw something useful, but it turned out not to be. I thought that was copper down there, but it turned, turned out not to be copper. So we're going to head back this way, and we're going to go to the left for uh, further exploring. And hoping to un uncover more stuff to mine. Now I'm just gonna go down here and check and see if this is actual, actually stone or iron ore, and it's stone. I thought it was. At stone and iron ore are kind of they you can get confused pretty quick, pretty easily. But I'm pretty I've as I've shown you already, it's kind of not that hard to distinguish them although it can be tricky for new players so we're going to hop in here and we're going to put the wow 19 gold ore that's amazing at this point in the game and we're going to go over here and then we're going to and of course when i'm playing uh when i'm using fraps which is the recording software i use it slows down the frame rate to 30 which causes very very slow scrolling as you can see. So now I made four gold bars and put the rest of the stuff away and we're gonna head off to the left. Where I where on this character earlier on I found some other things that I needed that I need to explain. When you're exploring you want to look out for these orange mushrooms because they can be used to make lesser healing potions and because they restore 20 health and at this point in the game that's very that's a pretty important. So we're gonna continue off to the left here and looking, keeping our eyes peeled for things to, for the ores that I mentioned before, which is copper and iron. And I thought I saw some ores underneath the, underneath the stone there, but it turned out not to be the case. We're going to continue along. And I just failed because I, I forgot I can't double jump with this character. Which is kind of funny because when you make new characters, especially when you have a character like mine, who already has some of the best gear in the game, it kind of get it kind of gets a little bit to get used to the controls again because you're so not used to doing them because you haven't needed to just single jump and you're so used to double jumping that you actually start double jumping again. Now I'm I'm digging down here because I thought I saw something, some ores down here, but that wasn't, isn't the case. 
Nope, it isn't the case because it. Well, I thought it was again. I thought it was iron, and as you can see, it you kind of start to notice that it kind of gets pretty hard to distinguish between iron and stone. This when you're first beginning and when you're okay now here's some iron and when you're first oh it's not it's when you, and when you first start the game so up here we encounter an, another new ore which you couldn't really see very well down in the caves but up here this is silver ore and it, it is it is above iron and can be used to make tools and armor and weapons later on. Another thing you want to look out for are these big fields of these orange mushrooms. They, I've noticed that you tend to find one of these big fields somewhere nearby your base, like like that. Somewhere nearby your spawn point, rather. And as, as I just just found out there that one was nearby my base so now we're going to continue off to the left and we encounter some more mushrooms and then we encounter this which is which is where i wanted to end this this tutorial which is this little grove of iron and copper down in the down in the ground here so i'm going to shoot these blue slimes that are appearing uh, and I keep on missing because I'm so not used to using the bow <sighs> and as you can see the bow actually does quite a bit more damage than the wooden sword at this point in the game it does nine and the wooden sword only does six to these guys there we go okay so now we're going to continue Ugh. once I can get a break from these stupid slimes we will continue on and mine the I mine these ores down here. Now as you can see I have to I can't mine the dirt that or the grass that has a wood wood on a tree on top of it because it, the game won't let me. And oh my gosh. A purple slime which I shouldn't be seeing yet. Anyways there we go, killed that one, and then I have to go ahead and... God, what is up with all these slimes? Ah, I'm out of... I'm also out of arrows, too. And this guy's stuck down here, so... I'm trying to do all this before it turns night, but I'm not going to be able to. Anyways, we're going to continue down here. I'm going to put a torch on the side so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm actually just going to put dirt on... dirt above me so that... I can actually survive the night and not have anybody interrupt me while I'm mining this. So I'm going to mine the remainder of this. And this has been Razor Flame Kun. And this has been episode 3.3, Exploration Basics of my tutorial series for Terraria.